In this video, I will be showing you how to better understand line spacing and built-in styles in Word 2007. One of the trickiest things about Word 2007 is why it behaves the way it does. There are many defaults on a document setup that are built in. I will show you how to better understand what's going on and even more so how to adjust. Now in this document here, I have just put in some really random text. Now to show you one of the things about line spacing that happens, and I think that frustrates people the most, let me enter in a heading for this paragraph. Now if I hit enter, you'll see that a fair amount of extra space shows up after the line I just entered. That is because Microsoft Word handles this as a new paragraph. Sometimes though, you don't want it to be a new paragraph, you just want what's called a line break. In that instance, I'm gonna just delete what I did here, you enter a line break. To do that, you hold down the shift key and then hit enter. Notice, I don't get all of that extra space. So again, a line break is shift and enter. However, in this case, I really do want a paragraph break. Now, another thing is that you can see my spacing here in this paragraph. Um, I've got a little extra white space between each line. Microsoft Word defaults to a line spacing of 1.15. And the way to find that is on the Home tab up here in the Paragraph group, this icon is for line spacing. If I click on the down arrow, you can see that 1.15 is already selected. Now, if I want my entire document to have different line spacing, I can first of all hit Control A to select all, go up to line spacing, I could go to one. You can see that's moved the lines a little bit more closely together, or I could go to 1.5, much farther apart. In most cases, 1.15 is actually appropriate, only in cases where you really need a lot more extra white space, or perhaps if it's a document for smaller children in elementary school, would you really want to go to 1.5 lines or more? I'm gonna go back to 1.15. All right. Now, another thing you might notice is that after a paragraph, say between these two paragraphs here, I have a, one extra line of blank space. That is a default space put in after a paragraph by Microsoft Word. To prove that to you, I'm gonna go up here to Paragraph to the Quick Launch button. It brings up this dialog box. Now, in this, there we go, in this paragraph dialog box, notice it says spacing. Before the paragraph, I have zero extra points. After the paragraph, I have 10 points. Now I can manipulate this throughout the document, but first I'm going to go back, hold on, into my document. I'm going to select all throughout my document, control A. I'm going to go back to paragraph. After paragraph 10, you can bring it down to six, or in this case, zero. Notice as I toggled this button, what's happening in my preview pane. It's gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like with no space after a paragraph. Notice all that extra space is now gone. So that is one way that you can change the spacing between paragraphs in your document. I'm actually gonna undo that and go back to the way it was. There we go. I'm now gonna show you some details about styles. Up here, there is the styles box, and it does sure look fancy, but there's actually a greater purpose. Whenever you're creating a document, you want it to be consistent throughout your entire document. One way to do that is by using these pre-formatted styles. Another thing is, this document may be part of a larger compendium that you may be putting together a manuscript or maybe a user's manual or such. By using one particular style and sticking to it, you can have consistency from document to document. So for one instance here, I have actually a title line right here. I'm gonna highlight it. I'm gonna go up here to title and notice what it does. I'm gonna select that. 
Now, it may be that I want a different look to my title. Well, look, you can change styles. If I go here to change styles to style set, if I hover over, here's a default for black and white. You can see there's all different built-in styles. They're kind of fun. And as you go through, you can see there's many different fancy versions. In fact, there's fancy. Now, the nice thing is, is I'm just previewing here. I'm actually not choosing them. I kind of liked this modern. I'm going to click on that. Now, this is maybe a little bit larger than I liked going across this page. I can reduce the or shrink my font. There we go. Now, another thing is, is I have this here random text. That's really meant to be a header. The nice thing is, is once you choose a pre-formatted style, everything in the style keys up here is actually meant to coordinate. So I have random text here. And now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to enter in more random text. I'm going to show you how this can be a heading number two. You can see it can kind of get a very nice look throughout your document. Now, if you start using styles, if you actually are making a user manual or some type of manuscript, by employing the built-in styles, later on I can show you how you would use these to make a table of contents. But to have Microsoft Word help you do a table of contents, you first have to get used to using the pre-formatted styles. And there's many different versions that you can see in through here. So I hope that might help you understand a little bit more about styles and more importantly, about line spacing.